this point, I'm about 30 minutes, maybe two seconds, into holding on to the fence wire. My hand is wrapped around the wire, palm down, so I cannot let go. Like a monkey, squirrel grip of death. The eight-foot-long ground rod is now accepting signals from me through the perma-damp Scrubby Creek bottom soil. And at this point, I'm thinking... I'm going to have to just man up and take it until the lawnmower <laughs> runs out of fuel. <laughs> Damn, I think, as I just remembered that I'd filled the tank right to the top before starting her up. Covered in my own feces, we, and with my balls up on my chest, I think, oh, God, please die. Please just let me die. <laughs> but no. It settles into a rough, lumpy cam idle nicely. It remains there like a big bore roller cam, electronically fuel-injected motor waiting for the go command from its owner's right foot. So here I am in the middle of January, <laughs> 38 degrees, 80% humidity, standing in my own backyard, begging for God to kill me. I honestly don't know how I got loose from the wire. I woke up laying on the ground. Hours later, the lawnmower was beside me out of petrol. Oh, my God. I assume I finally had a seizure and in the resulting thrashing had somehow let go of the wire. Upon waking from my electrically induced sleep, I realised a few things. First, three of my teeth seemed to have melted. (laughs) (laughs) Number two, I now have cramps in the bottoms of my feet and my right butt cheek, not the left, just the right. Number three, poo, wee, and vomit, when all mixed together, does not smell as bad as you might think. Number four, my left eye will not open. Number five, my right eye will not close. Oh, there you go, balances out. Number six, the lawnmower runs like a demon now. Seriously, I think our little (laughs) session cleared out some carbon fouling or something because it's just way better after all of that. Number seven, my balls are still smaller than average, yet they are almost a foot long. (laughs) Number eight, I can turn on the TV in the games room by farting while thinking of the number four. And finally, that day, uh, my life changed. I now have a newfound respect for things. I appreciate the little things more, and I now always triple check to make sure that the fence is unplugged before I mow. The good news is, however, if that burglar ever does try to come over that fence, I can clearly visualise what my security system will do to him. And that, that alone, gives me warm, fuzzy feelings all over, which also reminds me to triple check before I mow. Unreal, a foot-long testicle. <laughs>